But that's weird then. We did some work in my academic lab where we discovered that polar bears and brown bears hybridize with each other. Um, Mm. This is one of those funny stories about academia with a scarcity mindset there where we publish, we we submit a grant proposal and we say, hey, we have this. And it gets rejected because they're like, that's dumb. We know that doesn't happen. And then we found another hybrid polar bear from the previous interglacial. And then there's evidence that they're hybridizing today. Yeah, they find them today. Go out and do this. Yeah. So whenever they overlap geographically, they breed. But what's interesting about this is that we always find the hybrids living like brown bears even though it's probably that the mom is a polar bear. Mm. Because a brown bear boy will wake up, you know, from hibernation and go out onto polar bear territory to scavenge for food. And a polar bear female is an induced ovulator, um, whereas brown bear females are seasonal. So a, a, a polar bear female will ovulate in the presence of a male. So the male comes up to her and will mate her. Wow. And so, but that's weird then. So why do we always find the hybrids living with brown bears instead of living with polar bears? And the polar bear biologists who we've worked with, I've worked a lot of time with Ian Sterling, who's a fantastic polar bear biologist from Canadian Wildlife. And he, his hypothesis is straightforward that they can't successfully hunt seals if they don't have that white fur. Oh, completely makes 